Welcome to the University of Minnesota Medical Center. We're glad you have chosen us, and we want to make your visit with us as pleasant as possible. Many patients who are about to have surgery are concerned about pain. At the University of Minnesota Medical Center, we have a team of anesthesiologists, physicians who put you to sleep before your procedure, residents, physicians finishing their specialty training, nurses, and medical assistants that are specially trained to treat and manage your pain during and after surgery. One of the ways they do this is to use a nerve block. A nerve block is used to numb or block pain near the site of your surgery. The blocked area will feel numb and will help to keep your pain from getting severe or out of control while you recover from surgery. This video will explain how your nerve block is placed and how it can help make your surgical experience and recovery more comfortable. All of the members of your healthcare team welcome any questions you may have. Many patients have their nerve block put in right before they go into surgery. However, some patients, depending on the type of surgery, will have it placed when they are in the operating room. The anesthesiologist will meet with you before you go to the operating room. He or she will explain how the nerve block works, what to expect once it is in place, and the risks and benefits of the procedure. You will be asked to sign a consent form at this time. Be sure to ask all the questions you have. It is important for you to understand how this system will work. If your nerve block is placed before surgery, it will be done in the preoperative area. If this is the case, when you arrive in the preoperative area, a nurse will place an IV. This will be used to give you fluids and sedatives that will make you feel drowsy and help to keep you comfortable during the procedure. Once you are relaxed, the anesthesiologist will begin preparations for placing the nerve block. You will be helped into a comfortable position. You will receive a lidocaine injection into the area to numb the skin. You will feel a poke and a sting when this is given. This numbing medication is similar to the Novocaine used by dentists. After that, you may feel pressure, but nothing that is painful. If you do experience pain, let the staff know so that they can give you more medication. Once the area is numb, a needle will be placed with the help of ultrasound. Once the needle is in the right place, more numbing medication will be given into the area. Some patients say they can feel a cool sensation when the medication is given. A small and flexible catheter, or tube, will be inserted and left in place. The needle is then removed. This part of the procedure takes about 5 to 10 minutes. If you will have the nerve block placed during surgery, this will all happen in the operating room. After surgery, a device with numbing medication will be connected to the catheter. The device will continually deliver numbing medication to help control your surgical pain. You will have decreased sensation due to the nerve block. You will still be able to receive other types of pain medications if needed. A member of the Anesthesia Nerve Block Management Team, known as the Perioperative and Interventional Pain Service, will visit you every day you receive nerve block medication. We will make sure you are getting just the right amount of medication. Be sure to let us know how you are feeling. It is important to tell us if you experience ringing in your ears, blurry vision, metallic taste like there is a penny in your mouth, tingling lips. Let your nurse or the perioperative and interventional pain service know if you experience any of these symptoms or if you notice numbness outside of the area that was meant to be blocked. You should also let your nurse know if your bandage gets wet or the tape comes off. 
nerve blocks do not always relieve all of your pain, you will receive other medications as needed. Our goal is to keep you as comfortable as possible. If you are comfortable, you can get up and move around, and you will sleep better, all of which will help you recover more quickly. Most patients say their nerve block helped them tremendously. Some patients will be discharged from the hospital with the nerve block numbing tubing in place so that they can continue to receive medication for a few more days. If this happens, the perioperative and interventional pain service team will call you each day until the day the nerve block is removed. The perioperative and interventional pain service will make sure you are getting the right amount of numbing medicine. We want to make sure you are comfortable and not having any side effects. Be sure to let us know how you are feeling. Call the team right away if you experience any side effects or numbness outside of the area that was meant to be blocked. If the device becomes disconnected, it cannot be reattached to the catheter. If the dressing comes off and the catheter is exposed or gets wet, it may need to be removed. It is important to let the perioperative and interventional pain service team know if this occurs. You will receive information on how to care for and remove the catheter once all the medication has been given. Many patients safely manage their care at home and have great results. We wish you a speedy recovery. All of your caregivers are here to help you, so be sure to ask questions and let us all know how we can be of service to you.